Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on Nigeria newspapers. And I begin with uh, the Nation newspaper. The major story here says millions of Nigerians can't be wrong. Vote Ashiwaju Bolatinubu for president and Kashim Shatima for vice president. So that's the major headline you see on the front page of the Nation newspaper. We move now to the front page of the Leadership newspaper. 2023 presidency, fake news won't stop Tinubu APC. Yaya Bello declares, denies withdrawing support for Ashiwaju rivalry with Faliki. Uh, PMB leads APC presidential campaign to Bochi today. All right, you find all the details on the front page of the leadership newspaper. To the Point newspaper now, 2023 presidency, no alternative to Tinubu Yaya Bello insists. Uh, Kogi governor remains APC star boy. Party members will accept him with open arms. PDP campaign council are reacting. All right, all the details on the front page of the Point newspaper. To the front page of the Blueprint now. Alleged withdrawal from APC campaign, Yaya Bello Fumes says, my support for Tinubu 100% threatens legal action on media report, demands apologies, a retraction in 24 hours, or be Atiku Kwankwasu election merchants lack ideology. All the details on the front page of the Blueprint newspaper. All right, to this Nigeria newspaper now, G5 governors, PDP battle enters decisive week. G5 governors, PDP battle enters decisive week. All right, bated breath as week others set to name preferred presidential candidates. Plenty of water has passed under the bridge, so reconciliation is almost impossible. Source, a source speaking there. All right, to the front page of the Daily Times, Jagaban Army, uh, summon National Security Council meeting, PDP tasks Buhari, once president, to sack Yamu for using public office to intimidate government agencies. Atiku unfit to be president. His men have lost their minds. APC reacted. All right, to the front page of the business day now. Uh, the big story here says Nigeria spends uh, on defense rises, but security elusive. Nigeria spend on defense rises, but security elusive. Mike. All right, I have Abuja Inquirer here, and he's focusing on the new Nara notes. He says anxiety as deadline looms. Abuja residents lament lack of new notes and CBN faces litigations. Uh, that's from uh, uh, CASA there. And Apex Bank to review policy. There's so sources saying that. That's uh, the Abuja Inquirer. Now, the, the Punch newspaper is next. And it says, banks battle new Naira shortage ahead deadline. Lagos FCT states ATMs dispense old notes as January 31 deadline nears. That's what you see on the front page of the Punch newspaper. Banks battle new uh, shortage ahead deadline. From the Punch, let's go to First News. And it's talking about Forex allocations. DSS summons and MFLA, CBN board members, 27 bank CEOs, right, on Forex allocations. Preliminary report on Forex allocation under MFLA, very shocking. All affected bank chiefs to appear today at DSS headquarters for questioning. Uh, but CBN governor may shun invitation. Met bank MDAs in MDs rather in uh, Abiokuta last Saturday to strategize on secret police summon. Okay, you see all that on the front page of the first news. From there, let's go to national economy. National economy says conflict, rising inflation, others may worsen Nigeria's food insecurity in 2023. Economists raise concern over 25 million Nigerians falling into hunger crisis. All this you see on the front page of the national economy. Daily trusts is our next spot of call. It says high costs hinder consumers' access to electricity meters. High costs hinder consumers' access to electricity meters. Only 38% of 12.6 million registered customers 
have meters, and we were given second-hand meters with uh, accumulated bills. Uh, that's a report from uh, some, uh, you know, some persons who want to get meters. Experts push for free meters. NERC says soon. Okay, you see all that on the front page of the Daily Trust. Now, Nation newspaper is next, and it says renewable solution to global climate catastrophe. UN chief is saying this. Renewables, the solution to global climate catastrophe. The UN chief is saying this. Right, from there, let's go to Business AM, um, which is the last one we're looking at now. Analysts on navigating Nigeria's mixed business landscape in 2023. Analysts on navigating Nigeria's mixed business landscape in 2023. Agbaje saying exchange rate subsidy removal tops for new government and NESG weighs in on various options. All right, all this you see on the front page of the business AM. Well, that's what we have for now. Veronica. All right, uh, gentlemen, let's look at uh, this uh, story on some of the papers this morning, talking about uh, the report, alleged report that the National Youth Coordinator of the Tinubu Shetima Presidential Campaign Council in person of um, Governor Yaya Bilu of Kogi State, my governor, mm. <laughs> is said to have, you know, shifted grounds uh, to support uh, a particular party, talking about uh, the PDP. But then he has come out to say that with his full chest, he is supporting the APC presidential campaign. He's in the support of Tinubu uh, presidency 100%. He is for Tinubu and he is on shaking. And he has asked, although the PDP have come out to say that, oh, they are ready to welcome him with open arms, but he has said that his allegiance and support is for the Tinubu president. And then the question we want to ask is, if he had moved on to PDP, PDP will not be saying we are waiting to welcome, welcome you. With open arms. <laughs> 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 they, they would have said, of course, he's not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They wouldn't waste time to say that. They wouldn't that waste time, time. Uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a, it's a statement on this season. Hmm. It says a pro professional statement. Um, if you say that somebody has moved from a party to another party, he either does that by association mm -hmm. or by statement. Mm. The report by the newspaper, supposed to be a storied newspaper in this country, that a governor of a state has moved from one party to the other, must have evidence mm. of either. We cannot base it on rumor or speculation. Even speculations are strong when they have some meat or evidence to work with. Now, this, this has no meat, has no bones, has no skeleton, but only reflects the professional skeleton in the people <laughs> who reported it. The professional skeleton in their cupboard. Why would you say a thing like that? So this is the problem with this season. Mm. that when scholars and students of journalism will write about this season, what will be the position of the gatekeepers? Mm. How would we assess the gatekeepers as to how they have performed in this season? Now the governor has said, I'm for Tinubu 100%. Mm. The people who you said they have moved on to say we are waiting to welcome him. We will welcome him if he comes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? So there is no first coming and there is no second coming. Yes. Mm. There is no coming at all. <laughs> we just a lie. Mm. Yeah? So we we have to be careful in this season not to create unnecessary um, unnecessary lies or base stories on speculation. Sometimes when we lie. We show where our position lies. Lies, <laughs> <laughs> fake news, yeah. and all of it. The, at this the time. point there is this: this is an example of disinformation. Yes, practically. Yeah. Because the point there is, some person sat down somewhere, concocted something, created a story that doesn't have any base, 
to as a way of deceiving the people and creating some kind of impression. Now, it could be a desperate move. Of course, there is no evidence that it came from this party or the other party or the other party, whatever the thing is. But the point there is, it creates a, despa a desperate move, you know, as a way of saying, okay, uh, if we create an impression in the minds of people, it could sway the way people are thinking or reasoning right now. Now, one thing there is that in the North Central, the only state that is PDP is Benue. Mm. Of course, the presidential candidate of the, of the PDP, Atiko uh, Mubaka, he has Benue, but he doesn't have Benue. Mm. Yeah, he's well, PDP, but yeah. the point there is you know what's going yeah. on with the G5 governors, yeah. whom uh, the Otom. governor Tom is, mm. is a member of. So he has Benue as PDP, but he doesn't have Benue in support mm. as, as far as now is concerned. So the point there is that another state like Kogi State is quite strategic where they feel, okay, let us come up with a story. Of course, we are not saying the story is coming from the camp of PDP, but whoever, you know, uh, concocted the story, uh, one could, well, in political terms, one could say, okay, maybe it's coming from there as a way of trying to sway uh, the people's support or sway the people's uh, perception of the fact that Kogi State has become a PDP state. But it was very important for the governor to come out to make that clarification right now because mm. we're counting down just about a month to the election. Elections. And those kind of clarifications are very important Key. at this time. Mm. If, you, if you don't make that clarification and people go to, the, go to sleep with the mind or perception or the thinking or assumption that, oh, if the governor of, of Kogiste has moved to PDP, then I think uh, we will all go the same way of because course. he has a lot of support support base in his state. Absolutely. So, so that's the thing. So it's really very important at this time. And so now, gatekeepers have yes. to do their job. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Because that's what it is. Have to, you have to prove your point. No, you were talking about uh, the North Central mm. and mm. that uh, Atiku has... Uh, as Benue doesn't have it. Doesn't have, <laughs> he has the body, but he doesn't have the soul. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And a good way to wrap up the newspaper yeah. review this morning. But